What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be rolling out on the ranked double ladder with a Moxie Quackwaval team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to click that big red subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring those notification bell so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started here with today's team preview, gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator, Wolfie. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. I absolutely love that. I used it a couple times on the casual ladder before I got started with today's recording. And this seems absolutely amazing. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to his channel. Most of you guys are probably already subscribed to wolfie considering he has such a huge following but if you're not definitely go check him out and he probably has a video up with this team so if you guys want to get more content with this team definitely go check it out definitely go check out his channel but we can get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner with the one and only cerula and i absolutely love this pokemon just based off its design i just think it's one of the coolest looking pokemon to ever exist in any pokemon game with the ghost swords i just think it looks amazing it has Flash Fire as its ability, Rock and Clear Amulet as its item, and then it's got Protect, Terror Blast, Bitter Blade, and Shadow Sneak for its moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Sylveon. Sylveon has been really, really good on the rank ladder, especially without Dynamax. I feel like its moveset is good, and it can pretty much roll out strong with the Third Spray and the Hyper Voice combo. Kind of just proc Third Spray, get that plus one easy special attack boost, and just get after the battle that way. It's got Pixelate as its ability, Hyper Voice, Terror Blast, Yawn, and Protect for its four moves. Middle left is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Quack Football over here with Moxie and the Life Orb as its item and ability. And this Pokemon is so strong due to its ability, Moxie, and its signature move, Aqua Step. If you do not know what Aqua Step does, every time you use it, it hits pretty hard, but you get a plus one speed boost at the same time. So if you could pick up a KO with that move, you get a plus one speed boost from the move, and then you get a plus one attack boost from the Moxie ability. So it's basically like a free Dragon Dance every time you pick up a KO with that move. Absolutely amazing. It eventually stacks this Pokemon gets stronger and stronger and stronger, and you can pretty much just sweep out battles. It has Detect, Close Combat, and Brave Bird for its other three moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Garchomp, but not just any Garchomp. We got ourselves a nice, lovely Choice Band Garchomp on the scene. It's got Rough Skin, and it's got EQ, Rock Slide, Dragon Call, and Stomp Tangent. Going to be really well paired up with the Orthworm on the scene, considering Orthworm has the new ability Earth Eater. Every time it gets hit by a ground move, it gets HP, so I can just really drop EQs, doing damage to the opposing side, and at the same time, healing up or Orthworm. Fifth Pokemon is going to be that Orthworm with Earth Eater and the Leftovers as item. It's got Protect, Shed Tail, Iron Defense, and Body Press for its moveset. Final Pokemon is going to be Kilowatch. And Kilowatch was just a great Tailwind Setter. I absolutely love this Pokemon, especially due to the abilities that it learns. It learns competitive, and it also has Volt Absorb, which is absolutely amazing. This one is going to be the competitive ability with the Focus Sash as item. Then it's got Protect, Tailwind, Air Slash, and Thunderbolt for its four moves. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Moxie Quackwaball team. First match coming at you guys for today's video going up against a King Gambit team with Torkoal, Gothitelle, Gargleknack, and then he's got Dragonite and Rotom Wash. Only Trick Room Center on this team is going to be that Gothitelle, so I might want to lead a Pokemon that can kind of just rip into it. And I kind of like Quackwaball or even Cerule Edge isn't too bad. But Sylveon solid here as well. I kind of just want to go my boy Quackwaball because I feel like we have speed regardless, right? Dragonite could definitely come out here. It is a scary Pokemon. Um, I could go here. I could also go in with maybe Orthworm. Ah, but Iron Defense to start rolling out from that. Huh, what do I want to do here? Because speed we're fine with. We really are fine with speed. I don't feel like we need Tailwind Kilowatch over here. Right? It just seems like it would be a problem. It really does seem like it would be a problem. So what, what do I want to do? I do have close combat with this thing if he wants to uh, go into Dragonite. But I'm really liking a Pokemon more so like... Garchomp? Or maybe I should just go Orthworm here. Maybe try to set up an Iron Defense. I could Shed Tail out. I'll bring Garchomp in the back end. And then last but not least, I could go... Sylveon or Cerulege? Cerulege does have that Shadow Sneak. If he wants to set the Fire, I mean... Bitter Blade could be good. But we also have Grass Terror type. And that can work really well up against the Rotom and the Gargonax. So I'm all about it. I'm all about the Cerulege. I'm all with this Rule Edge. Plus, Fire would be super effective onto that uh, King's Gambit as well. So, I feel like Rule Edge has a lot of potential in this battle. A lot of potential. Let's get it. Let's try to get ourselves a win here. The last battle, or the last video, we used the Rain Team. And we got ourselves a perfect record. And I'm hoping we can get ourselves another perfect record. We'll see. We'll see. But Quackle Ball over here. Such a cool Pokemon. I really do like it. The stars are starting to grow on me. And I feel like they do this every single... Uh, every single uh, generation. Where I don't really like them at first. But then the more I use them and the more I look at them... 
the the more I start to like him. So Quack of All, I'm starting to like a lot. But I could go for an Aqua Step. Uh, Trick Room is definitely an option to kind of get after. So I don't know if I should go for an Aqua Step. I could swap in the Guard Chomp here and just set up an Iron Defense. So I could definitely see it happening. Or I can just go straight into a Close Combat. Which I'm kind of lean turn. So I'm going to go Close Combat and I'm going to go for an Iron Defense here. I'm going to look to set up this lovely Iron Defense. And he fakes me out. How dare you? How dare you with a little fake out. Close Combat's going to fly here. How much damage are you doing? Quack with all doing some damage. Defense is going to drop. But I still feel fine. I mean, Thunderbolt might come in here and KO me. We'll see. I was thinking it's Rocky Helmet as well. Now what's he going for? Thunderbolt? Yeah, okay. So he takes me out. I don't mind that too much. I really don't mind that too much. Quack Wall going to go out here. I can swap pretty easily into Garchomp if I want. Do I want Garchomp though? That's my problem. Do I want Garchomp out on the field? Hmm. I mean, I could definitely just body press the Rotom. And just start popping free EQs. I'm all about it. I am all about it. We're going to be choice man. I'd rather save Cerulege and save my Terra type for later in the match. So we'll see what he wants to do. We shall see my man's play. We do have Flash Fire on him as well. So I'm just going to pop an EQ. I do have Earth Eater, which I'm totally fine with. And I don't know if I should Body Press or Iron Defense here. I think I should just Body Press the Rotom. Even though Rotom might just protect here. Rotom could protect. But, you know, I'm just going to play the simple, smart play. I'm just going to go straight for a body press. But, yo, shiny Orthworm. I like the colors. The little cyan blue. Yo, I knew it was protected. <laughs> I should have popped my iron defense. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Hate myself. Hate my life. Just kidding. We're fine. We're chilling. We're chilling. I knew it. I knew it was protecting, though. Earth Eater's going to come over here. It does not affect me. I thought we would cover HP. I really do. This thing is rocking the berry. Is it going to pop a trick room now? That's the real question. That is the real question. Is it popping a room full of tricks? I think it is. No, I should have iron defense up. I knew it. Knew it, I knew it, knew it, and there's Trick Room. Okay, so Trick Room's out and about. Uh how do we handle this? How do I handle this? Definitely gotta pop EQs. What's my terror type? It's gonna be fairy. That's not gonna be too bad. I might swap the Rotom. I don't know. I think I have to body press here. Now, you know, I'm going to set up an iron defense. That's how I play all day. I'm setting up this defense full of irons. I'm with it. Gothel is going to protect. That's fine. So, Rotom basically gets a free turn out here. I don't mind it too much. Iron defense is going to set up here. I wish I would have done that last turn. That could have been huge. Could have been huge. And he's just going to willow this me. Okay. Okay. I see. I see you, dog. I see how you're playing this match. I see. Hmm. I would love to shed tail this turn, but I can't. I would love to shed tail this turn. Just have Shirulej up with a with a what's it called? Shirulej up with a substitute. My problem is if I swap in the Shrewage, I have to freely pop EQs only with the Garchomp with the choice band. So we're going to see if Earthworm can actually get after this battle. We'll see. He's going to withdraw the Gothitelle. Who are you going to go into here? Who are you swapping into? Okay, he's going to swap into the Gargoneck. I am plus one or plus two on the defense. Body press is going to fly. Hmm, he's probably just going to start Sulk here me. I could start body pressing him. I could pop my defense boost. Uh, what else can I do here? Hmm. Oh yeah, it does restore HP. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it restored HP. How much damage are we doing that bulky Pokemon? Not too much. It's just gonna leftovers and recover. Could definitely protect this turn. I know it does have recover itself. Uh who's this next Pokemon he's gonna throw out? Potentially it could be what's it called? Torkoal. And if it's Torkoal, I am gonna have to swap typings here and change out my steel. Yes, it is gonna be Torkoal. So Torkoal's gonna come out here. I'm gonna have to body press that thing. I'm gonna have to swap in the fairy here. And we're gonna have to start getting rolling here. Even though, oh, dude, I would love to have the grass. I would love to have the grass terror typing. I could swap you, Cerule Edge, into Garchomp, which wouldn't be bad. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. I'm going to swap Cerule Edge just so we get that flash fire boost. And that could legit just body press right into you. I would rather body press into Torkoal, considering it's just going to erupt. 
and we can actually knock off some damage here. But we're sitting in a tough spot. We're just sitting in a tough spot here. Considering I let my Quackle Ball die like turn one. But I'm swapping here. He's going to fire. I didn't Terrasalize, did I? I didn't Terrasalize, did I? I don't think I Terran. I don't think I Terra typed. Did I not Terra type? This is bad. This is bad. I don't think I Terra typed. This sucks, man. I did not Terra. Now my Earthworm dies. That sucks. That one's on me. That one is on me. That one is on me. All right. Looks like I, it looks like my Cerule Edge uh, can get the Terra type. That hurts the soul right there. That hurts the soul. I do have Bitter Blade ready to roll, but... I get the choice to a different move here. I did not terror there. I did not terror. Do I terror my, my boy here? So who else do we think he has? We took out the... Who did we take out? The Rotom? So he still has Gothitelle. Choosing into... Or... Hmm. This is tough. Bitter Blade could be solid for us. Did Garwin not go for an Iron Defense last turn? I'm curious. Did not. Uh, good for Shadow Sneak. Bitter Blade's not bad, though. I do want to go for a Bitter Blade. And I guess we'll go for a Stomping Tantrum. I want to save my Terror. This one's... Uh, dude, we could have won this battle so easily. He goes for a Solar Beam. He going into a Solar Beam up against. Surprise. I'm surprised he went for a Solar Beam. The Garchomp? Garchomp's able to eat that. That's totally fine by me. He's gonna salt cure me. I have Bitter Boy to, to deal some damage and get some HP back. That's not too bad. Trick Room, we are slowly wasting out Trick Room. Bitter Boy flying here. Doing some nice, lovely damage. That's some big time damage. I feel like Gargonac might just protect this turn, right? Makes the most sense. Zombie Tantrum's gonna fly. How much damage are we doing with that? That's not bad damage. I could Terrasalize this turn and pick up a KO. But do I really want to Terrasalize that Garchomp right now? I think we have to save it. I think we double down into the Torkoal anyway. Because right, I feel like Gargonac has to protect here. Knowing that another Bitter Blade will KO. Oh, Trickum's gone too. Trickum's gone. I'm all about just a straight up Shadow Sneak into you. And a Stomping Tantrum into you. I'm going to double down right into the Torkoal. Double right down into Torkoal. Wow, we still have a shot at this battle. I played horrible in this battle, but hey, we're playing good in the back end. The back half of the battle, we're always playing good. I feel like the first battle of every video I do, I always like start messing up because it's kind of just like a warm up. I always make some bad plays. We'll see what he wants to do. We still have to, we still have terrestrialization, but I just don't think changes to rule edge is going to be the play right now. Let's see. He withdraws Torkoal. I don't mind that. Not the tell's going to come out here. And I think he's trying to pop another Trick Room. And he does protect the Gargoyle now. So we read that Protect very, really, really easily. We're doubling out in this Pokemon, which I think we should be able to pick up a KO on though. Right? Correct? Yeah. Super effective shot right there. Stop the Tantrum's going to fly. Beautiful double down from us. Um, I feel like we just, we don't, we don't need our Terrasalization, right? I feel like we just Bitter Blade into that, into that Gargoyle Knack. We pick up the KO. And then we just Stopping Tantrum over onto that. We're going to that Torkoal. Makes the most sense, right? Talk here doing damage, but again, we're going to get some HP back from the Bitter Blade. Heat is going to stay out on the field this turn. We, we're going to win, I think. <laughs> I think we're going to win. <laughs> Somehow we're going to win this battle. Somehow we're going to win this battle. But I definitely owe you guys a nice little... Uh, a nice little... Quackwa Ball action in battle number two. Considering I came out here and just died to Thunderbolt. We'll see. I thought that close combat had a chance of KO and it brought it down to red. We died instantly. And then I didn't read his protect when I should have read his protect. Let's see what happens when we read protects like we read this guard. Oh, of course we it learns to double protect. Of course it lands to double protect. I still feel like we're, we're fine here. Time potential comes out. There's a KO. It doesn't KO. I could shadow sneak that. No problem. And Bitter Blade is going to get blocked. So of course this thing lands to double protect. That's fine. What's Torkoal going for? Goes for another Solar Beam. Uh, Solar Beam's gonna fly. Can you eat this? I kind of need this Pokemon to eat this, right? 
Do I need to eat this? We don't eat it. Okay, how are we gonna... How are we gonna do this? The sun's gone, isn't it? Is the sun gone? The sun might be gone. I would love to get it for one more turn. He's gonna salt cure me. I feel like we can just constantly bitter blade down into Gargleknack and win this battle, right? It seems like the best play. If he lands a triple protect, I'm quitting. I'm just letting you guys know that now. <laughs> but I think if we just constantly go after his Gargleknack with bitter blades, we should be fine. And then just take out the Torkoal. Because I don't think Torkoal can do too much to us. Yeah, we finally pick up the KO onto this Pokemon. HP is going to go almost back to full, right? Yeah, almost back to full. And Torkoal can't do much. He can't hit me with fire moves. I have flash fire. Well, I could have just swapped in the grass anyway. And what's he going to hit me with a solar beam here? Yeah, that we're going to eat instantly. We're going to say, yo, this is the tastiest snack ever. Solar beam coming in hot from this thing. And look at that. Yo, that's light work. That is light, light work. So Rule Legend Garchomp clutching up for me. Like I said, I didn't play too hot at the beginning of th this battle. But back into the battle, we played it perfectly with the Garchomp and the Shrew Ledge. And a little bit with the Earthworm. We were able to uh, swap out pretty easily. And just help us win this battle. So first match goes to us. I owe you guys a better battle in battle number two. But yeah, look at this. What are you, what are you protecting for? It does nothing. Protecting your poor little turtle does nothing. There's no terrain out. There's no weather. There's absolutely nothing out on the field. Oh, there is Salt here, but... I guess, I guess, is that his, like, option of winning this game? It's just, just protect five turns in a row and have Salt Cure KO me? Yeah, I think that was his plan. <laughs> I think that was the plan there. I think that was the plan, which is kind of funny, but Shadow Sneak comes out here. Torkoal goes down. We grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Second battle coming at you guys. Going up against a Swift Swim Drendal rain team with Pelipper. Also rocking Palafin, Amoongus, Hydreigon, and Golden Go. First battle went pretty well. We ended up grabbing ourselves a win. But we did not really get to show off Quackle Ball. So I definitely want to get this Pokemon in, in this battle. Especially because the rain's going to be here. I'm all with the rain. I'm all about the rain. But I don't know if I should lead the Quackle Ball. I can definitely see Palafin coming out for a lead. So I might just go into Kilowattrel here. Kilowattrel's not bad. I like Kilowattrel as a lead. Get a lot of work done. So I'm going to go kill Watcher for the lead. Uh, who should I also bring in as lead? I could also bring in a Pokemon like Sylveon. Sylveon's not too bad for a lead. Hmm. What Pokemon do I want the lead to be? Garchomp's not bad here either. Uh, I could go Quackle Ball for a lead. I'm kind of leaning a bit to more towards Quackle Ball. I just think I like it all around. So you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go Quackle Ball. We're gonna go Quackle Vault. We're gonna go uh, Kilowattrel. I'm gonna bring. Do I want Sylveon in the back end? I don't know if I want Sylveon. I think Cerulean's gonna be pretty nice. And I don't know. I don't want Pokemon, but I can change my typing, which is bad. I think Sylveon's gonna be good. And I, let's just go Garchomp with the choice band. Play it safe. I think we're gonna play it safe here. This one seems like it's gonna be tough. I feel like going up against weather teams when you have no control of weather is really hard to play up against. So maybe we'll grab ourselves a win. Hopefully, we'll grab ourselves a win and uh, start off 2 0 in today's video. And at least get to show off Quackle Ball in this battle. Because again, I've dropped a close combat last battle. Put that Rotom down to like 1 HP and this thing just ripped into me with Thunderbolt. I was not happy about it. Because I'm with the Swift Swim Squad, not too bad. Um, I could simply Tailwind Protect if I want to. I don't think that's a bad turn. Where do I Aqua Step? I feel like I should just Aqua Step right into you. Get a Speed Boost. I'm gonna drop a rock side turn one. I don't mind that, because Kilowatch will have Sash. Hopefully no flinches come out of here. Kilowatch should be faster. As long as no flinches come out of here, we should be fine. Right? Makes more sense. Tailwind's here. Beautiful. Aqua Step coming in hot. He's probably hurricane into me, right? So I might my Kilowatch might go down here. Or not my Kilowatch. My Quackle Ball. If my Quackle Ball goes down, that's totally fine. I just aqua stepped and ripped into the dreadnought. Is the Hurricane going to fire or is he going to match our Tailwind? I hope he matches our Tailwind. Let's see what Paloops is doing. Lovely little Pelipper is going to match our Tailwind. I'm all about that because my Kilowatch will outspeeds. I can drop a lovely little Thunderbolt into that thing. Either take it out or bring it on the Sash. And then I have my Quackle Vault shown here with Moxie Boost plus one on attack. And the Speed Boost from the Aqua Set. So not a bad lead from us. Not a bad lead. But I'm going to throw out the next Pokemon. It is going to be Lovely Little Palafin. And I feel like Palafin has to swap. It's not going to do much unless it swaps. What Pokemon is he going to swap into? Probably either Hydreigon or Golden Go. So I feel freely to drop a close combat, right? I feel like that's just a free a free hit here. He jet oh he has jet punch. Okay.
But if I get rid of Palfin, I'm all with that. So I'll get rid of Palfin. Palfin's dead here. Black Hole Vault's gonna die here. I don't mind Pelper. I don't really mind Pelper. We have Rock Slide on our Garchomp who can outspeed. I do like that. Might have to bring out the Chomp here. And Hurricane should fly here, right? Correct? If it doesn't, we win this game. If Hurricane does not fly here, we win this game. Yeah, there's the Hurricane. One of the coolest animations in this game. I love how they up up or uh, gave it a new animation. Basically, a cool little upgrade on it. But yeah, not bad with Quack of All there. Getting off some crazy big damage. Getting some work done. We still have Sylveon. And we still have my choice band Garchomp. We're all in the Tailwind. We outspeed Pelper. I think I have the choice into Rock Slide, though. It really depends who his final Pokemon is. But I still have Terror Typing as well. Final Pokemon is going to be Amoogus. Oh, I don't mind Amoogus. I don't mind Amoogus. I could Terrasize into a Fire Type if I want to. But huh. We just straight up Hyper Voice. I think we Hyper Voice turn one. I really want to Rock Slide. I'm going to Rock Slide. I'm going to Choice in the Rock Slide. I have the Choice in the Rock Slide. He's going to protect the Pelper. That's fine. I'm Hyper Voicing. I'm getting after the Moongus. Moongus is going to Spore somebody. And I'm kind of hoping... Who do I hope he Spores, to be honest? I like both get a lot of value. And maybe we each get off a flinch here and we just go from there. So Rock Slide does a little bit of damage. I don't mind it. Hyper Voice is going to uh, chip up this uh, Moongus a little bit. But more importantly, we are going to get the special attack boost. And once the rain ends, I can legit just terrestrialize my Sylveon and drop a fire move of Terra Blast into that. Kind of go from there. We have to spore my my Sylveon. Okay. I mean, I can deal with that. I don't mind that. I'm going to go for a Hyper Voice again. We're going to be asleep this next turn, but again, we're fine. We're fine. We're chilling. We got this. We got this. We got this. But as you guys saw in the first couple turns, the what's it called? Absolutely ripped. The Quack of Ball. It's just very fast paced, hits hard. But Pelper can end up terrestrializing into flying. Just straight flying, that's fine. We're still super effective with the rock slides. I feel like it wants this hurricane to do as much damage as possible. So yeah. Get a nice lovely swap there. Rock slide is gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing to Pelper? Decent amount. We're looking for flinches here. He's gonna spore me. He's gonna spore spam. And this could mm, if we lose this battle to spore spam, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> I can't stand it. We do get a flinch on, I think it was Pelper. We get a flinch on the Pelper, which is huge. And Spore. No, he's going to clear smog me. Oh, how dare you? Not cool, man. Not cool. Not cool one bit. Not cool one bit. Tailwind is gone. Tailwind is gone on both sides. Rock Slide obviously has to go out here. How many turns is left in rain? How many turns is left in rain? One. I'm going to go for the Protect here. I'm going to go for the Rock Slide. See, my problem with terrestrializing in the fire is going to be that Pelper can hit me with water. But of course, I'm going to be still be asleep. I think I still am going to terrestrialize next turn. Rock Slide's going to fire. Give me more flinches. More flinches. We need more flinches. Hurricane comes out here. That's scary. Go after my Garchomp. No, not my Sylveon. I need my Sylveon. Where's my damage bar? Oh, there it is. It does that. I do flinch the Moongus. I think this is a safe terror time. Why is Rain still here? Was it? Didn't it say one turn left in Rain last turn? Oh, wow. There is eight turns. Do we still Terra? I think I, I can't Terra the Garchomp. I mean, that would just change our typing. Um, I still think Terra, Terra Blast can do as much, the most damage onto that Amuga. So I am going to Terrasalize. I'm going to Terrasalize here. Oh, that's a close battle. This is a really close battle. I could have sworn it said one of five. I must have read it wrong. I must have read it wrong. <laughs> so when I looked at the second, I was like, wait, three of eight? What's going on here? <laughs> I must have read it wrong, but we're still going to thrash slice ourselves down. I believe that move will do more damage uh, than the Hyper Voice. We take out Pelper with that Rock Slide. Nice, lovely Rock Slide we uh, choice into. And yeah, Sylveon should outspeed and hopefully wake up this turn. You wake up this turn? Thank you. Sylveon wakes up. And we're going to drop a nice, lovely Terra Blast. And that's going to be GG's 2-0 and o for today's video. Doing really, really well right now. Got Quackle Ball out here in battle number two. Absolutely dominated with that Aqua Step KO onto the Dreadnought. And then we close combat to Palafin because I was not dealing with that Pokemon swapping in and out and getting into its hero form. Third and final match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. Going up against a Breloom team. And Breloom is very scary. Low key. Low key is very scary. It can Spore. It has Bullet Seed. It has Mach Punch. It has Technician as an ability. Just really strong and great Pokemon all around. We're also going up against two birds with the Corviknight and 
Talonflame, both can set up Tailwind, but I feel like that Corviknight is more of like an Iron Defense kind of body press Corviknight, whereas the Talonflame is more of a Tailwind setter. Then they got Garchomp, they got Annihilate with Final Gambit, and Hydreigon. I want to bring Quackle Ball, but I don't want to lead Quackle Ball. I kind of want to lead a Pokemon like Cerulege. I feel like Cerulege could be solid. It can dodge Final Gambits and get some damage on the Corviknight and get some damage on the Breloom. I I'm with Cerulege all around. So I'm going to lead Cerulege. I feel like if they're going to go Tailwind, we kind of have to match Tailwind. So Telepathy is going to come out here. We are going to bring in... I could go Orthworm. I don't think Orthworm is too bad. We want to go... We want to go in with Orthworm as a lead. I feel like I'm all about it. Even though I really want Tailwind. You know what? We're going to go Garchomp. We're going to go... Okay, this is what we're going to do. This is my plan. We're going to go kill the Watchful, Garchomp, have Orthworm, and Quackleball in the back end. I'm liking that. Obviously, Sylveon's go would have been solid here, considering it was super effective up against four of them. But I feel like they're going to play all off of that. Like, Corviknight might come in here as lead, or they're just going to have Corviknight ready to go for that thing. So, I'm just going to say, nah, Sylveon's not coming in here. Even though, again, it was super effective up against four. They got Thrash, Terror types to kind of dodge that. There's a bunch of different ways they can go into it. A Breloom and Talonflame's going to come out here. Uh, we are going to go into Chompy Chomp. And I could drop a Rock Slide. I could drop a Rock Slide. If I want to. I could go straight Air Slashing. Could go straight air slashing. I think I'm gonna air slash. Could go slide. Rock slide looks good here as well. <laughs> you know, no, we're gonna go tailwind. We're gonna choice into. I want to choice into the EQ. I am gonna choice to the EQ. I want the Orthworm out here. I'm gonna choice to the EQ. I'm choosing into the EQ all day. Who's faster? Palfoy might be faster. Actually, now Breloom's faster. What's Breloom doing here? What's Breloom doing? Obviously, it's going to Spore. What else is a Breloom going to do? My bird slumped. Gale Wings definitely did me dirty. And EQ's going to fly. Um, we just stay in here with Kilowatch, right? Start popping EQs. How much damage are we doing to Breloom? Half it? Half it? Maybe half it? Close to half in it. Guess we'll go for another Tailwind. Guess we'll go for another EQ. We're choosing an EQ. Really need a nice little one-turn sleep from Kilowatch. So that could be big news. Yo, I swear, if this dude's a Spore spammer, and he's going to spam me with Spore here and put my Garchomp to sleep too, I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to hate this game. And I already know it's coming because he has speed on me. Flareblitz going to fly. He's going to start trying to take out you. That's just a huge chunk of damage. You are going to take a recall. And here it is, guys. The Spore. No, the Bullet Seed. So he's just getting rid of my Tailwind. Okay. Give this dude props. I give this person props. Not Spore spamming me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I get rid of my Kilowatt. Ah. Uh, Hmm, Orthworm would be good, nice, but... But, oh, this is so tough. We have no first time priority. I think we had to terrestrialize my... I think we had to terrestrialize my Orthworm here. I think it's a must. Can you go into a body press? I could Iron Defense, because we know that... We know what's coming out here. I have to terrestrialize you. Do I... Iron Defense or do I Body Press here? The Sound Flame seems like a pain. Yeah, Iron Defense. And I EQ and get rid of the Breland. We know somebody's going to sleep. That's the problem here. That's fine. I'm going to Iron Defense. I'm going to take a chunk of damage from that, uh... <coughs> from that Talon Flame, but I'm also going to recover HP here with the EQ. Also going to recover some HP here with the EQ. So we're going to our slides. We are now sitting at a lovely little fairy type. And boy, but it's going to fly. Are we going to see a spore? You're able to soak really well. Please don't spore me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, did I tell you to leave me alone? What? Ugh. I can't stand spores, man. I can't stand it. Take the move out the game. Take it out of here. <laughs> Get it out of here. Or have it, have your, like, have the PP on it only be like three. You can use it three times a match. I think that would actually make it really fair. We have leftovers popping here. Um, we are fairy type now, which I really like. And he's probably going to put me to sleep here. I just go after you like that. And I guess we'll just EQ. The Garchomp is going to be sleeping. Well, we'll waste out some turns here. I could protect 
Earthworm whenever I want. Brave Bird's gonna fly here. Blending my chomp, doing some mean damage. Rough Skin is going to chunk it up, plus recoil on top of that. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Sports. Oh. What? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> it hurts the soul, guys. It hurts the soul. It hurts the soul. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I'm, try I'm trying my best, but I can't do anything when my Pokemon legit cannot move because they're asleep every single turn. Tailwind's gonna end soon. Look, Tailwind already ended. Absurd. Absurd. It is absurd. Hopefully my guard chomp wakes up and just outspeeds. Am I iron defense boosted? I think I am. I am indeed. How many physical attackers do you have? A lot. A lot. We're going into another iron defense. Oh my my uh My Earthworm can't kill a uh My Earthworm cannot kill a uh an annihilate. So we're definitely gonna need something like that. Bolt Seed's gonna fly here. Mm -mm, we're dead. God dang tailing, man. Alright. How are we playing this one now? Can we wake up here? Can we wake up? A little earthwormy? Little wormy worm? No, I'm, I'm, I'm slumped. I'm slumped. So my one play here would be protect my quack quill ball. Or detect it, however you guys want to put it. Hopefully have my worm wake up. And then body press the Breloom. Get rid of that and kind of go for me. My best bet. Even though Brave Bird can do a huge chunk of damage, but we gotta go for the body press. Body press, detect you. If I don't wake up, I'm a uh, dude, if I don't wake up, this can get ugly. This can get ugly. But this is my last shot here. Actually doing something in this battle. Brave Bird comes out here. Block. Block block block. Big old block. And are you doubling down on me? You are indeed. So, Orthworm, I need you up here. Nap's over. Nap's over, buddy. I, I don't know how to play this game. I don't know what to do. How can I? How can I play this game? How do How do I even win this match? I mean, we're gonna have to go for the double protect because we are dead anyway. You were double down to me. You have speed, all that. We have to go for the double attack. Land it. Bang, let's go. Let's go. Hot start here. We're looking to make this comeback. Hot start, double detect. Earthworm automatically wakes up here. It has been three turns. We're getting rid of the prelim. We're rolling out strong. Double protect, landing for us. We get some RNG to help us out with all these spores. Hold up. Wait a minute. Body press flying. Bang. Breloom. Get out of here. Get on out of here. Don't need it. Don't need it. Do not need it. I'm tired of that thing. I'm over it. I'm over it. Put my whole team to sleep. Put my whole team to sleep. Garchomp comes out here. Tailwind is here. Uh, we do have Earth Eater, which is phenomenal. Absolutely lovely. And I am plus four on defense, which is just gorgeous. So I'm going to body press into you. I'm going to go for the Aqua Step here. And we know he's probably double down into me, but still. Orthworm seems like he can get some work done. Brave Bird's going to KO me, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Recoil is going to do some damage to you. Rock Slide takes me out all day. Orthworm is here, though. I'm fine with just letting this Town Flame play. Eventually, he's going to kill himself due to Recoil. Body Press is going to be able to do... Nice chunk of damage. Rough Skin chipped me up. I do have Leftovers ready to roll. I'm going to play this one slow. I want to win this battle so bad because they were spamming Spores. I might just Protect again just to get some Leftovers HP. They want to play like that. This is how they want to play. They could play like that. They could play like that. We're protected. I'm going f all out for the win. We just got to hope Annihilate's not in the back end. If Annihilate's in the back end, we lose this battle. 15,000 times in a row because we cannot hit that Pokemon. And I'll be very upset if I KO both these Pokemon and it's just Annihilate in the back end. I'll be so upset. I'll be so upset. So I'm protecting here. Who do I go after? Do I go after Chomp? Yeah, I feel like I have to go after Chomp. Talonflame's eventually going to die to recoil damage. Our defense is plus four. It's plus four. I'm gonna body press right into you. Blair Blitz flying. It's tasty snack there. It gets a crit. Come on now. Yo, come on now. The thing's gotta go down, right? It does not die out. It gets a crit. Should not have done that much damage. It gets a crit. Wow, that crit might have did me. That did me real dirty. What Pokemon are you bringing out here now? Obviously, I gotta protect here. 
obviously Earthworm's got to protect. It really depends what Pokemon he's bringing out. Because if he reads to protect, I don't want him setting up a move. Don't be Annihilate, first of all. Corvo. Thing is, do we think Corvo has a setup move, like an Iron Defense? Potentially. I'm going to go right after Corvo. We're going right after Corvo. Corvo's coming in here. Of course it got a crit, man. See, that's how much damage it should have done. Recall KO's that thing. I think Corviknight might be setting up. I feel like that's just like Corviknight's best bet. Yeah, see? Corvo's setting up. Corvo's setting up. <laughs> oh no, dude. I got, a, I got an Iron Defense here too. Wait, end in a stall. How's this battle gonna end? I don't know. I'm not gonna protect. I'm gonna Iron Defense here. I'm gonna go plus six. You want Iron Defense? I'll Iron Defense. Run it. Run it up. Run it up. <laughs> Run it up. I don't think this match is going to end. I really don't think this match is going to end. I really want to beat this person so bad because of all the spores I I, I faced. Hmm. Defense is stacking. Defense is stacking. I think we let Iron Defense again and we go for Body Press and then we protect. Yeah, I think it's gonna Iron Defense again. We'll protect next turn to get some leftovers HP. But how much damage are we really gonna do? We're plus six, he's plus six. I don't think this match is gonna end. How much damage is this Corvinac gonna do to me? How much are you gonna do to me? And how would this end? How much time is left in this match? A lot of time. Obviously, I have to protect here. He's going for the he's going for the body press. <laughs> he's going for the body press all day. You can't iron defense again. Okay, we might have to skip in this video because I think it's just going to be straight up body press, body press protect, body press protect, body press protect. I wonder who would win this battle because I'm I'm here for the long haul. I came to play today. I came to play. I'm not messing around. I'm not messing around. So we'll go for the body press again. We, we, it's legit all we can do. How much damage is your body press doing? Yeah, no, this battle is going to go on forever. This battle is going to go on forever. So you know what? I'm going to cut to the end. I don't want a 20 minute video of me just going for protects and body presses. So I'll see you guys at the end of this battle. And hopefully we grab ourselves this win. So guys, we ran into a problem here. I just realized Corviknight has pressure, so I have n legit one body press left. And it has Roost. I did not know it had Roost. That is going to be the game. I cannot do anything after this body press. He's going to beat me on the HP stall. It's going to be game, set, match. Oh, wait. It did Roost. It did Roost and dropped its flying type off. That could have been big for us earlier in the game, but I'm all out of, I'm all out of body presses. I'm all out of body presses, so we are going to end up losing this battle. I cannot attack this thing anymore. Protect is eventually going to fail. It's game, set, and match. We're going to lose. That one hurts us all, but hey, 2 and one for today's video. Not too bad. 2 and one for today's video. Almost beat that Spore Spammer in battle number three. Came down to the wire, but the Quiver Knight's ability pressure got to us and it ended up grabbing their team the win but i love the quackle ball in today's video got to showcase it off all the other pokemon really gel together really well you got the garchomp and orthworm combo which i absolutely love and then you got the killer watch will set up the speed with the tailwind and then sylveon and cerulege in the back end but guys that is gonna be for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody